Morning folks and welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Wednesday the 8th of February today and I'm in the car for a change. Uh, and why am I in the car? Good question. Well, the reason I'm in the car is that uh, I'm just taking my bike. It's on a trailer and I'll show you that in a moment or two. But uh, yeah, I'm just taking my bike down to Craig's, uh, which is the dealership where I bought it from in Dewsbury, West Yorkshire. I uh, got it from them next uh, last year, sorry, 1st of April last year. So it's going down there for its second service, which is a 6,800 mile service and while it's down there it's going to get some new tires put on it which i've bought i've got them in the back of the car they the dealership couldn't get hold of them uh, but i managed to source them from uh, a company in london i got them via mail order I've got some michelin trackers which i've had before a little bit noisy on the road um but they're still road legal uh but i like them anyway i've used them before so uh i'll, I'll give them another stab um so yeah so that's where i'm going i'm going down there but uh, i've got the bike on a trailer today and the trailer i use i bought last year after i went to the abr festival down in warwickshire and for that event i hired a van which cost me about 350 quid for the van and then you've got the fuel costs on top and so on so it just made sense to me um to basically invest in a trailer uh, so I went for the Motorlug SE, which I think is the basic one for a single bike and I got it second hand but it still cost me a staggering 950 quid and I think new they're about 1300 quid so I could have plunged a little bit deeper into my pocket and, uh, and got a new one but uh, I thought well a saving of nearly 400 quid better than nothing. So uh, yeah, so I got a second hand one, as I said, 950, and then I just had to get a tow ball or a tow bar, whatever you want to call it, fitted to the car. So that were about another 150 quid uh, fitted or something like that, and I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. So it's a bit of an investment, but long term, it's going to pay dividends, um, especially when I'm using the bike um, off road rather than riding it there. I might as well just stick it on the trailer, take it there stick all my gear in the car get changed when i arrive into all my uh, off-road biking gear and then go for a little bit of play in the mud and so forth so that's the idea and obviously I'm, i am booked into the abr festival again this year as well um camping there for a few nights so again i'm taking the bike on the trailer so i can do the trails down within the grounds of regley hall so i've got the bike Connected to the car, I'm going to go for a little drive. I've got a camera rigged up on the back window. I've cable tied it to the rear wiper just in case it falls off, but hopefully it won't. And I just want to show you how stable the bike is um, when I'm uh, towing it. It does wobble about a little bit, or the back, well, well, I say it wobbles. The bike doesn't wobble. The trailer bounces a little bit because it is a light trailer. But um, but the bike is sound as a pound, it's secure as anything. So anyway, less of the talking, I'll get moving and I'll show you for yourself just what it's like and how well it performs on the road. Okay, I'll back with you in a moment, folks.
Right then, we made it. So as you can see there uh, from the rear camera, it did bounce around a little bit, but I'm gonna go test it and I'll keep the camera running and you can see for yourself just how secure it is. So you've basically, you just gotta be careful, obviously, when you're going over big uh, speed bumps, what I call like the turtle backs, rather than just the, um, I think they call them sleeping policemen, don't they? But when, yeah, when you go over those like big, uh, square speed bumps um, obviously they're quite wide so you just got to be mindful of the width of your axle on your trailer and, uh, and just be conscious of the fact that it's going to naturally propel the trailer slightly up a few inches so just uh, adjust your speed accordingly it's common sense really isn't it end of day right let's go have a look and uh, I'll just show you how good it is and how well secure the bike still is to the trailer back with you in a tick Okay, so let's just see if it's worked loose after that. Solid as a rock, yeah. There's naturally a little bit of play there, but the bike isn't going anywhere. <coughs> so that's the, uh, the system anyway. So as I said, it's the Motorlug SE. It's the basic one, and I think uh, Motorlug sell them for about 12.95. Um, it's designed for one bike only. If you get the Motorlug SE Plus or something like that, then if you buy an additional kit, it can be adjusted in the future to take two bikes. But uh, that's how it works. It's just a traditional coupling system, just like you'd expect. Uh, and then I think it's, uh, it's on a seven pin plug. Run the cables down the side of the trailer like so so cables going either side obviously just to your uh, to your light setup where you've got what you'd normally expect fog light brake light tail lights indicators etc and what else can I show you yeah so the beauty of this trailer although there are probably cheaper trailers out on the market <coughs> excuse me Although there are cheaper trailers out on the market, I'm sure, I like this system because it can simply be folded. It completely dismantles. I'll just come underneath here. So there are pins here. So basically you drop a pin down uh, through this bar and then you've got like an R clip which clips it in place. So there's two for each rear arm. And there are or there is rather there's a center bolt there if you can see that which uh, once you've straightened these two sections of the frame out and you slot in this axle and again there's a bolt there then you have another R clip there and you've got another R clip just uh, in the center there which holds all that in place um, they don't recommend that uh, you tow the trailer without any weight on it so it's got to be uh, laden with something and that's i think just in order to keep the r clips in place but uh, yeah but it works a treat and uh, that's it so simple enough video and i just put a little bit of sacking just over the top just to protect the seat Simple, but effective. Yeah, so that's the basic uh, assembly system. Uh, and the whole thing basically folds down and it folds down so small and disassembles that um, once I've dropped the bike off, I'm literally just gonna put the trailer in the back of the car. Uh, it'll fit in, obviously, I mean, I've got in an estate car, so it'll fit in that easily, dismantled. But even if you've just got like a normal hatchback, something like a Ford Fiesta, um, the relative individual components, um, disassemble so much that they will literally just go in a conventional boot of you know a, a small hatchback and that's the attraction and the beauty of this particular uh, trailer system so right i'm gonna uh, i'm just parked up in little car park at the moment not too far from where i live so i'm gonna head off down to Dewsbury. that's probably gonna take me about half an hour to drive down there traffic permitting it's lunchtime now uh, so hopefully i won't hit too much traffic get down there and then i'll get the camera set up and then i'll just show you uh, me getting it off the trailer system and then uh, putting the uh, the trailer into the back of the car although it's pretty self-explanatory isn't it but yeah i'll do that and then you can just sort of see in its entirety what the system's all about okay catch you up in a moment <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, I've managed to get parked up in Craig's car park. That was quite lucky. Uh, it can be quite busy down here and there are a few cars and there was a van in my way, but the van shifted. So I managed to do, uh, pull over to one side uh, in a space that's long enough for the car and the trailer. So I'm gonna get the bike unloaded and I'll get back to you in a moment. Trailer in your boot. Yeah, that's some trailer, that man. <laughs> Let me tell you. So there you go. That is just how simple it is to use this trailer, and uh, it fits in the back of the car. It certainly created some interest with some of the customers down at Craig's. They just couldn't believe I'd dismantled it and then just thrown it in the back of the car. So if you've enjoyed that and you found it intriguing, and I certainly hope one or two of you have, uh, pop over to uh, Motor Lug's website. I'll leave their um, website address in the description down below. And at the end of this video, uh, after I finish spouting, I'll just put some of the specs of the, um, the trailer, this particular trailer that I've got on screen, just so you can have a look at it and see whether it's gonna be suitable for your requirements. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. And if you have, like always, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you've just come across my channel. And if you have any comments, any questions, anything like that, by all means, just uh, leave a question down below and I'll get back to you. Uh, I always answer all of my questions or all the comments that have been left. So thanks, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and I'll catch up with you on the next video. Ta-da for now.